Hello everyone, we're going to take a quick look at the Spear Gold Dot in 9mm 115 grain. Notice I did not say plus P or plus P plus. That is because this is a so-called standard pressure load. Yet it has an advertised muzzle velocity of 1,210 feet per second out of the Glock 19 4 inch barrel. I'm coming in very close to that. Five shot average is 1,200 two feet per second. So remember those numbers, 1210 and 1202. Here's another one. The Critical Defense Hornady 115 grain, very popular load. By comparison, its advertised velocity is 1140 feet per second. And historically, when I'm testing Hornady, they come in about 5% less uh, under spec and the spear loads in any caliber I test usually come in very close to advertised velocities or even slightly over in some tests. Another thing to look at when comparing, and this is something to consider with uh, feeding in your semi-autos, is that the 115 grain gold dot there on the right is just a little bit longer than the critical defense. So that's something to think about. The critical defense, in my opinion, is a much softer shooter. It feels more like your uh, full metal jacket target loads. In fact, I did chronograph some Winchester full metal jacket, uh, 115 grains as a point of comparison. Those are coming in around 1,139 feet per second. So this gold dot uh, gives you a little bit more pop and feel and recoil than your typical practice loads. So something else to think about. And here's another. That's the 115 grain gold dot on the left, the 124 grain plus P gold dot on the right. Uh, the gold dot 124 plus P is one of my primary carry loads. But guess what? It's plus P, yet its advertised muzzle velocity is only about 10 feet per second faster at 1220. Granted, it's slightly heavier. So do all of these things mean anything? Well, relative to our testing media, the sim test in four layers of denim, we're about to find out. No pass through, it's in the block somewhere. Let's dig it out. Here's an overview of the bullet track. We're gonna focus on the right side of the block as I was cutting. This is the complete path. Point of entry, there we go, here. And I'm really surprised by this cavity. I mean, we have a little bit of velocity behind this and it's a lightweight bullet, but from here to about here, that's five inches. This cavity is about four and a half inches in length as far as this permanent stretch cavity, three quarters of an inch wide at its widest point, which it does that actually twice. And then if you get down in here and dig into the channel, the deepest part of that is just over half an inch. That's, that's amazing. I was not expecting that. But we continue on, and as you look, you can see right there and right there. That's where the expanded pedals are cutting into the media. We continue on with the path. It is underneath there. It just starts to get a little bit minimal as we get out to the end of it. And look at this. I just about ran out of block. The leading edge of this right there is at 17 and a half inches. That is a lot deeper than I would have expected. It did expand but the pedals have peeled back pretty much to the core, so I don't expect the measure diameter to be that great. And if you also look closely, there is a plug of denim inside of the hollow point cavity. There's the high mark on the diameter, but the average is .517. I've rinsed out the media and denim, but still coming in a little bit high on the retained weight, 115.7 grains. I think the results of this test did a fantastic job of complicating our choices for 9mm carry ammo. I am always glad to help out. Totally unexpected penetration. Some folks might be excited about that. Uh, others may say, well, I, I just don't want to take that chance. You just have to consider all the things in a self-defense scenario that I cannot replicate here. Body density, mass, uh, bone, angle, all those types of things. So something to think about. Uh, regarding performance versus the critical defense, I have not yet tested that in this media as of this date. I will get around to it. Relative to the 124 plus P, which is a favorite of mine, <laughs> 
I mean, what do you do? I mean, you look at uh, this as a softer shooter. It seems to perform well. Expansion is what it is, and a small bullet of that type. So I uh, hope it helped, but I think we still have as many questions as we do answers. Thanks for watching.